hell hath no fury, reads a tagline on a poster for acrimony, and at first glance, the most recent sermonizing melodrama from Tyler Perry appears to be the story of how a teenaged girl worked up the courage to leave her exploitative, untrustworthy husband. The upshot is a good deal plottier, though, and the message less universal. The moral of acrimony seems to be, leave a bad man, especially one who cheated on you before marriage and leeches off your financial resources, unless he has poured his life into the dream of inventing a self-recharging battery, in which case the bonds of matrimony are sacrosanct and no sacrifice is too great. In those circumstances, who could disagree? The movie opens with a jaw-jordering Melinda, Taraji P. Henson, who has skirted a restraining order, to undergo counseling. As the camera slowly moves in on Ms. Henson on the couch, Melinda tells us about the man who ruined her life. We learn how in college, when she's played by Agiona Alexis, Melinda met Robert, Antonio Madison, and later Lyric Bent a handsome chemical engineering student who seduced her to the strains of Nina Simone. But Robert is no Prince Charming. After catching him with another woman, Melinda rams her car into his mobile home, knocking it over. An accident that also injures her and results in a hysterectomy. The film is just getting started. Melinda marries Robert anyway, and he continues to drain the money she inherited from her mother. Mr. Perry tracks the major expenses in on-screen text, and puts synonyms for the movie's principal themes, acrimony, of course, as well as deranged and inexorable, in title cards. A part as the narrator but probably not an unreliable one, Melinda is somehow able to present flashbacks to moments that she didn't see. That's just one of several ways in which Mr. Perry's screenplay feels structurally shaky. Already ungainly in its mix of social realism and parable, Melinda undergoes a series of overwrought, essentially biblical trials in a city vaguely identified as present-day Pittsburgh, acrimony truly gets muddled once it starts making excuses for its excuse-making antagonist. After all, what if Robert really means well? What if this time will be different? In addition to endorsing the logic that keeps spouses Stockholm Syndrome in bad marriages, acrimony also offers poor economic advice. Melinda's enduring devotion to Robert is an illustration of the sunk cost fallacy, except that the movie suggests she hasn't sunk enough. And the less said about the yacht-based climax, featuring some of the least convincing ship jumping ever filmed, the better. Miss Henson does what she can with a role that keeps her anger at a low simmer until requiring her to go full banshee within basically one scene. You can't accuse her or acrimony of being boring, but the film falls short of a design for living. <laughs>